Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly create, change, or assign and create VLANs on a Cisco switch. So I have this topology in Cisco Packet Tracer. So I have two laptops connected to a single switch. So by default, VLAN 1 is the default, I mean it's the VLAN on Cisco switches. So without configuring it, you can actually use you know VLAN 1. I mean all the you know devices that you connect to the switch are all assigned to VLAN 1. And I have and we can verify it that it's going to work by default by um, just doing a ping from laptop zero to laptop one here. So I have I have configured an IP address on these laptops. So I can verify that by doing that command. <clears throat> and on laptop one, same command. So the IP address is 10 on laptop zero is 10.10.10.1. This is the subnet mask. And this is the IP address on laptop one. And this is subnet mask. So let me also show you that without configuring the switch, it's going to work by default. So we see that VLAN 1 is the default VLAN, and all the, sw all, and all, and all the switch ports are assigned to it. So if I do a ping to laptop 1, it's going to work. So I'm going to create a non-default, I mean a new VLAN, and I can do that by going into the global configuration mode and say VLAN 300 and name. I'm going to say end user because this is for the end users. And the funny thing is <clears throat> when you, when you, enter the command, it's not going to create automatically the, the VLAN. And yeah, so here, oh, so now it, it creates it. So in the past, <clears throat> it, dis, it, 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 it doesn't work this way where, you know, when you enter the command, you have to, I mean, you, when, you, when you enter the command, you know, the VLAN gets created automatically. You have to exit first from the global configuration mode. Let me do it again and see. So I'm going to delete the VLAN. I'm going to create again. New show. Ah, yeah. So in real world or on a real switch, it doesn't, like I said, get created <clears throat> until you exit from the global configuration mode. But uh, yeah, just that's something that you have to uh, remember. So name is missing. So I'm going to say end user and end save. And this is how you verify that that's configured by doing that command or doing this command. So we see that VLAN 300 is configured or created and the name is end user. And we see that no ports are assigned to it. So I'm going to just copy and paste these commands here. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm making this port a access port and I'm assigning it to VLAN 300 and same with this port here. So just to make it quicker, go into just copy and paste and you can verify that by doing that command. You can use on a real switch, you can use these commands here, but this is just a, this is just packet tracer. So um, <clears throat> these commands are not working. So this is how you basically verify your configurations. And if I do a 
ping again from laptop zero to laptop one, it will work again because both are <clears throat> assigned to VLAN 300. And last thing that I want to talk about is how to delete VLANs. So basically what you're going to do is just go into the global configuration mode and just say no VLAN, in our case 300, and that's it. So that's how you can quickly create, change, and delete VLANs on a switch. So hopefully this is helpful and 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 if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.